Portland Art Museum does a series called Artist Talks and they ask an artist to pick one piece of work to uh, identify with, to relate to either historically or emotionally and kind of indulge on the painting or the photo or the sculpture. As a poet, I think constantly about images and ideas and so was attracted to these paintings' Baroque darkness, their desire to capture reality to such a fine degree that the objects presented become almost surreal, supplying us with visual information far beyond the notice of an everyday glance. Yeah, I think collage is like a good way of sort of sum summarizing a lot of my practice. Sound collage, three-dimensional collage, bricolage, uh, and then collaging things on 2D space, yeah. But I've done a lot of things in my time. I used to sing for a hardcore band. I was dead set that I was going to pick a photographer, but it, it's just so crazy how this, I was like, that's the one. There was a, a big complaint about it was simply that people, some people perceived it as being ugly. It was not aesthetic in their, in their, in their eyes. You know, then that whole, that, that raises all, all these questions too about like the function of art. I am a painter, if you're not familiar with my work. Um, and my own work is super engaged with art history and I sort of considered like maybe some slightly performative things I could do, but um, that's not my jam at all. I had a, a hard time picking one piece of art. Um, so the title of this talk is called The Gilded Frames of the Impressionist Room at PAM, which is where we're standing right now. Since I'm a musician, um, I thought, you know, even though I'm in this sort of physical space of art objects, I would approach this evening as, as a musician. And so I was thinking about this whole talk uh, as, a, as a musical composition.